we think 90% of the same thoughts or something, maybe 95% of the same thoughts every day. And, you know, you don't realize it, but it's all fucking happening in here. You're just playing this automatic process of your thoughts that's swirling in your head day in and day out. And until you actually go in there and be like, yo, bros, this isn't fucking working and you fucking change some shit up, then you're going to be doing the same fucking shit every single fucking day. So this technique that I call it, um, it's kind of like recoding yourself. So for example, one thing I do sometimes is like, you know, if I want to connect with someone or I want to talk to someone, sometimes I don't do it because I'm like, oh, what if you're busy or what if they think I'm weird? It's been such a long time. What if they don't want, you know, I just come up with all these excuses, all these fears of that I could get rejected in a way from this person and I'm not doing it. And I just really fucking regret it. You know, whereas I, I think I would much rather just ask, be like, hey, blah, blah, blah. This is what I, you know, I want to talk to you about this and that. And they just flat out reject me and call me a fucking loser. Like, I think that's actually such a better option than being a fucking coward and not saying anything at all. You know, very much like what I said about the whole masculine energy thing in a previous video. So I would recode this pattern in terms of like, when I feel the desire to connect with someone, then I will go and fucking do it regardless of any fears I may have instead of making up all these fucking excuses about what could go wrong. You know, and I will literally write it out as explicitly as I can, you know, whether on a piece of paper or on my phone. I just like to write on my phone because my handwriting is like chaos, uh, much like the insides of my soul. And I find it's really helpful because I think in the past I've noticed my patterns that I don't want. And I've told myself, oh, that felt shitty. Let's not do that again in the future. And I'm like really like adamant about it. But then I still do it. And, and it's often because the next time that scenario came up, comes up again, I actually forgot about the vow that I made in the previous scenario where it happened. Whereas I find if you actually write it out, it becomes like almost like a contract to yourself that you've signed. And it's very much, you know, in your face. And it's it's like, it, it just feels more powerful than only having it in your head. I saw in a video, like we literally just, we live we think 90% of the same thoughts or something, maybe 95% of the same thoughts every day. And you know, you don't realize it, but it's all fucking happening in here. You're just playing this automatic process of your thoughts that's swirling in your head day in and day out. And until you actually go in there and be like, yo, bros, this isn't fucking working and you fucking change some shit up, then you're gonna be doing the same fucking shit every single fucking day. So, you know, you gotta go in there and be like, okay, that's not working, you write it, write it out, you don't do it next time. And the more you can really stick to your contract that you've written for yourself, the stronger this new, better pattern for you becomes. And then you become a better version of yourself and you become like cooler and, you know, you're just like, happier or whatever. Like you, you're more self-satisfied with who you are as a human being. And I think that's very fucking important as you know, as one lives as a human in this earth. Let me know how it goes. If you do try it, if it works, please tell me. You can comment, message me, um, come to my door, just knock on my door, be like, yo, it worked. And then you can like mug me or something. Like, yeah, I, you know, I love to connect like that.